with some more views here at Castlebar Mitchell's clubhouse because um, Joe Brawley, obviously you're looking forward to this year's championship. <laughs> Well, Michael, I have to say, you know, you know, absolutely looking forward to a very absorbing and exhilarating contest, you know. I have to say, today's going to be a great game, you know. Dearly, dearly, dearly. I must say, it really, really is, you know, and I have to say, I love what you're doing with the room here, you know. Live TV and all that, it's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? You know, and I'm surprised you found a room big enough to fit my ego in it, you know, but fair <laughs> bloody <place. laughs> And tell me, what's, what's your opinion on the current state of football? <laughs> Well, I get very upset, you know, when I talk about it, you know, you know, I don't like telling stories, but I'll tell one anyway, right, you know, <laughs> you know, up, on, up around, up in Belfast, right, I have this five-year-old from down the road for me, right, you know, five years of age, I seen him in the back garden a couple of months ago, great little footballer, you know, both feet, you know, left and right, I said, this fellow's the next Gucci, you know, I says, so I told him, I said, start him up with Bridget's Art Club, you know, so he's on the, on the rates panel, you know, and I'm after finding out, right, the under rates are going seven nights a week training, right? Seven nights a week, right? This fella, he's in the gym four nights a week. He's walking around, he's like Damien Comer, so he is. He's only five now, you know? I went into the gym, I seen him in the gym, I says, Tomas. His name is Tomas, he's named after the great Tomas O'Shea. You know? And I said to him, I says, Tomas, what do you do? He says, you play with us now. He says, oh, hey, Joe. He says, and I says, what position are you playing? He corner forward, and he looked up at me, you know, with these big blue eyes and this, you know, face of innocence and adventure, and he says, um, he said he was the sweeper, you know? <laughs> I says, hold on a second, hold on a second, what do you mean you're the sweeper, you know? And he looked up at me again, his eyes narrowed, and he says to me, he says, oh, Joey, he says, I love nothing more than to ruin a good game, so I do, you know? I tell you, you can totally forget about him as far as he's a man, you know? I know he's only five, but I had to be held back, so I did. And that's a true story, I wouldn't exaggerate. <laughs> right, I tell you what, let's, let's get a view from Colm O'Rourke. And the question, Colm, I think for you is, will Dublin win the championship again this year? Look, at absolutely. I think now Dublin will win the Leinster Championship. They'll win the All-Ireland as well. And with the financial clout they have, they'll probably win the World Cup also, you know. <laughs> look, at now I've nothing against Dublin, but look, at I have suggested splitting them in two. I think it's high time now we threw them out of the championship altogether. <laughs> absolutely. Not against Dublin, though. No, I know that, yeah. Um, now, next up, let's turn to Harding, why don't we? Because uh, we have Davy Fitzgerald. So, Davy, um, who do you think is going to win our first live match here in the Sunday game? Who's going to win this one? You know, I'm not saying a word here, Michael, you know. Uh, you boys aren't going to get it on me, you know. I know the crack up here. I never expected to be in the RT studio, but I have to say, it's everything I expected it to be, you know. Reminds me of that film. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. You know, but I tell you, you're not going to get another word on me. I'm sorry, but I'm not saying another word, all right? I'm only a small little fish at the end of the day. Good luck. All right, well, <laughs> Davey, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Debbie, uh, thank you very much for the contribution that you did make uh, to us so far. But I'll tell you what, we're going to get a few more views on hurling as well because uh, we have Ger Nan with us as well. And I suppose we're going to ask Ger, what can you expect, Ger, from this year's championship? Well, just, uh, if I knew it was a studio audience now, a live studio, I would, have, I would have bought myself a new head for this. Eh? <laughs> but I have to say, I'll tell you what you can expect. Pure constable hurling, right? I have to say, in the last couple of years, no physical stuff, no mental stuff, right? The standard of hurling is so bad, even Galway managed to win the All Ireland last year. And no offence, Michael, but they're absolutely good. Now, I'll say this. I hope this year now we get a bit more manliness in the game, a bit more testicular fortitude, you know what I mean? A few good belts. And, Jez, I hope Joe Kenning is on the end of a few of them, I tell you that. Eh? <laughs> no, you know, you can't be saying that about fellas like Kenning, you know, fairness, you can't. Well, that, see, that's, see, that's the problem with today's generation, the whole lot. Yeah, it's too PC, you can't say this, you can't say that. But I tell you this, Michael, that's all going to change very soon, right? When my friend Joe Brawley becomes president, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. I tell you, forget Kenya 2020, it's all about Brawley 2025, hashtag, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Eh? <laughs> all right, listen, um, thank you for that. And also a big thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to Conor Moore. Thanks, Conor. Hello, sir. Excellent stuff. Fair play. Fair play.